In this video segment, we're going to provide an overview of prime contracts, discuss the prime contract info landing page, identify and define some features, define four contract types, and how to edit a prime contract detail. Under the projects module, have a project number selected, and there are several ways you can access. If you're using the favorites feature, you can add the prime contracts, change orders, change proposals, and so forth to this selection bar. Also, from the project homepage, if you click on client contract admin, you'll access the contract admin module. Corcon's contract admin module contains several elements that you'll use to manage your project and contracts. First, the job cost codes. This would include the project specific job cost codes as well as master cost codes. You'll access the prime contracts, which is the primary way that Corcon maintains the cost budgets, the revenue budgets, labor hour budgets, and equipment hour budgets. Although most of our subscribers will only need one prime contract under any given project, Corcon does provide the ability to add multiple prime contracts. And under a project, if you're using multiple prime contracts, each contract can also be assigned to a separate customer, client, or project owner. Most subscribers will only need one, but there are certain circumstances where a project will need multiple prime contracts. And there is a help article on some ways that can be used. Back to the contract admin landing page, with a project selected, let's take a look at the first prime contract and then open the detail. Contracts can be edited using the small yellow pencil icon at the top. If you scroll down to the original prime contract budgets, you'll be able to see the contract amount or the schedule of values, the cost budgets, which are broken into five cost resources, materials, labor, equipment, subcontract, other the labor hour budgets, and the equipment hour budgets. You'll notice that the contract amount and the cost budget are also summarized under the original contract amount and cost budget, as well as a projected gross profit. There's a section for the breakdown of the cost budgets by cost resource and the labor hour and equipment hour budgets. You have the ability to set the default markups on change proposals and change orders. And if this contract were a cost plus contract, you would also have an option to set a separate default markup for the prime contract only. I'm going to click the edit button and point out that there are four prime contract types. Fixed lump sum is where work is billed at a fixed amount and each line is billed as a percentage complete. A cost plus without GMP is a cost plus contract without a guaranteed maximum price. A cost plus with GMP contract type also is cost plus, but that does include a guaranteed maximum price. This is similar to a time and expense billing option with a not to exceed. There's also a unit price with build quantities where you have a pre-negotiated unit price for each line item and you bill your customer for quantities delivered or installed. It's important to note that a prime contract must have a status of approved and a status date established before other transaction types can be added. The issued by is the client, customer, or project owner. The issued to would be your firm. There's also a place to identify the architect, engineer, or construction management firm. You can also edit the scope of work, including the inclusions, exclusions, and clarifications. There's a place to designate the retainage or holdback on the prime contract, as well as a default retainage or holdback on subcontracts. 
There's also a place to track incentives and liquidated damages. You click Save and Close. For information on this subject, can be found in the help articles under the Corcon Browser Solution, under Leads and Projects, Contract Administration. Here you'll find additional information and more detailed discussions of the subjects we discussed in this training video.